Hi, I am Jenny Del Pozo, and today I am giving you a Pilates core workout all done on your summit mat. So go ahead and meet me down onto the mat. You're gonna lie onto your back, and then just hug your knees in towards your chest and rock side to side. Massage out that low back and just see how it's feeling today. Maybe it feels tighter on one side versus the other. Just notice it, acknowledge it, and we're gonna work with it. Then from here, I want you to press your palms down into the mat and draw those collarbones nice and wide. And then bring your legs up to a tabletop. We're gonna start with your single leg marches. So with this tabletop, make sure that the knees are right over the hips and the heels are right in line with the knees. Then from here, we're gonna tap one foot down, lift it up, and you tap and up. You're gonna alternate each time here, keeping that head down, feeling the ribs pull down towards the mat and feeling the abs pull in and up towards the spine. You tap and lift, tap, and lift. Keep going right here and notice the angle of your leg. Try not to make sure that it doesn't like just bend and tap straight down. You wanna reach it out and then pull it back in with your low abs. Four more, go three, go two, last one. Now we stay right here. Keep the legs all the way together and we go double leg marches. So you're gonna tap both legs down and lift it back up. You tap them down and up. So a lot harder here, right? We're working with more weight now. So maybe if the back is arching a little too much here and you're starting, starting to feel it dump into there, just don't go as low. And then you lift back up. You tap wherever your tap is today. Listen to your body. Good. Keep going right there. Give me four more. And you could always go back to those single leg marches if it's just not feeling great today. Two more. Last one, bring it to tabletop and just hug those legs in for a second. Again, rock it side to side. And we're gonna go straight into the hundred. So from here, I want you to curl your head and chest up. Now you can keep your legs at tabletop or lengthen them out to your challenging angle. Heels together, toes apart. Your hands will hover off the mat and you pump the arms right here. So you're gonna inhale for five counts and exhale for five counts. Inhale and exhale. Now the heels are together, toes are apart, and you're pressing those heels together so that way you feel that nice connection all the way up your upper inner thighs to your low abs. It's all working right here. We're getting that blood pumping and flowing right here. And exhale. Strong arm pump still. On your next exhale, I want you to see if you can curl up a little bit higher. Bend through that spine. <sighs> can those legs go a little bit lower? Challenge your bodies. If that back started to arch, then your answer is no. Maybe it needs to go even higher. Maybe it needs to come back to that tabletop. Last set right here. You inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Hug it in and rest it down. From there, you're gonna rock and roll yourself up to a seated position. These are your half rollbacks. So the feet are hip width apart and parallel. And you're just gonna hold onto the thigh bones for a second right here and really lift your spine up. Notice if that's hard to even do, keep that lift. Notice how that should turn on your core. Then from there, reach the arms out in front of you. So for your half rollback, you're gonna start to tuck the tailbone and start to round back only as far as you can keep your feet down into the mat. So if they start to wanna like lift off, just go a little higher. Then from there, you're going to bend through that spine and come all the way back up to that lifted spine. Then from there, you round it back again. Shoulders are drawing down. Abs are pulling in and up. And you round it back up. Now, at any time, you're still moving right here. You can also hold on and have a little bit more support for the body if you need it today. Every day, I always say, is so different. So work with, your, what, work with what you've got today and back up. Maybe we can go a little further now that the body's a little bit more warmed up and open. Let's go for two more right here. Last one, you round it back and you hold it right there. So we're kind of halfway where the hands can still rest, right? But now we're gonna rest the forearms down onto the mat. So you're hanging right here. You might adjust the body a little bit. You're keeping the shoulders down and I want you to feel this nice tuck of the tailbone still happening on this one, okay? That's gonna help you not dump into your back to hold onto this. Now from here, I just want you to reach one arm forward, then bring it back down, 
then the other arm forward and bring it back down. And just keep moving like that. You reach one and down, one and down. And you're trying to keep the body as still as you can. Then if you're like, all right, I'm ready for more, what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach one arm, then meet the other arm out there, then come down and down. Then you can alternate each time. You reach one, reach the other, down and down. Keep moving there. Try to keep the chest nice and still. Imagine you have 10 pound ankle weights on those ankles, really staying down and grounded into your mat. Now, if you want a little bit more, from here, you reach both arms at the same time. Reach and come back down. You reach it and back down. And again, play with that, whatever variation you need today. Feel that scoop happening and down two more right here. Reach it and down. Last one, reach and round all the way down with that control onto your mat. Woo. Okay. From here, you hug those knees in. How's that core feeling? <laughs> I know you're feeling it. From here, we're going to go into your ab series. And I know you're like, what was all that other stuff then? We're staying with the Pilates core workout. This is just called your ab series or your series of five. It's five exercises within it. Curl the head and chest up. We start with your single leg stretch. Hug onto one shin as you extend the other leg out. Your elbows are nice and wide and you use the arms to help curl you up a little higher. Notice how I'm not here. I'm holding onto that leg nice and strong. And then from there, we just switch the legs and you switch and switch and switch and you keep going right here, working that curl in your spine. And then just keep looking at your abdominals right here. If you start to look up towards the ceiling, now there's just a lot of strain in the neck. So find that angle that gives it the less strain and you're looking at that work you're doing too. Go for four and three. You go two, last set, one and one. Hug both legs and try to stay curled up. You're still curled up and you're staying off those shoulder blades as much as you can. From here, it's called your double leg stretch. So you inhale, reach everything away. You're staying curled up. Exhale, circle and hug it right back in. Again, inhale, reach, exhale, circle. Inhale, reach it and circle. Can you curl up a little higher? Can you scoop those abs in a little bit more? Give me two more right here, then we get a break. Last one, circle, rest it down. Go ahead and look side to side a little bit, just getting out of the neck. We're doing a lot of flexion, so if the neck starts to take over, just come down for a second, come back whenever you can. Then from here, we're gonna go into your scissors. So you curl the head and chest back up again. Lengthen your legs up towards the ceiling. Then walk your hands up one leg as high up as you can. The other leg lowers down just to a mini V. Then from here, you give that top leg a nice little pull, pull, scissor switch it, pull, pull, switch. So you're grabbing up nice and high. You're getting this awesome hamstring stretch. And then I want you to think again, strong arms here. Try to pull yourself up a little higher towards that leg. Then try to stay right there as you switch the legs. Go for four, three. You go two, one more set right here. Reach, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull. Then both legs come up. Now I'm gonna give you a couple variations right here. If that head needs a break, you come down. And if your back feels a little tight, I always love doing this, hands a little underneath your tailbone tush area. So that's just gonna help support the low back as we start to move these legs. The legs are heavy, so we gotta support the back. Now make sure that the hands are here and not into your low back, because then you're gonna start to arch it, okay? Now, if the body's feeling okay, the hands can also come behind the head and curl up and do all of this. So there's plenty of options here. I will say one more thing. If those hamstrings are tight and this pulls into your back, guess what? Bend your knees more. So take it wherever you can. Again, listen to that body. From here, wherever you're at, this is what your legs do. They lower down for three, two, one, lift up in one count. Again, three, two, one, up in one. Keep that up, three, two, one, up. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you come up. Feel the abs pulling in. You only go as low as those abs are pushing out and your back isn't arching. Two more here, three, two, one, up. Last one, three, two, one, 
and up, bend it in, bring the hands behind the head if they're not already there, stay curled up, and then keep one leg in, extend the other leg out. This is called crisscross. So you wrap the ribs over to whatever knee is bent in. You're trying to curl up nice and high too. Then we switch, switch, switch. <sighs> keep this up right here, wrap, getting it into those obliques. It's the last exercise in your ab series right here. Go for eight. You go six, can you curl up higher? Four, three, two, one, and rest it down. Woo. Go ahead and just like lengthen everything out for a second. Take a nice stretch. Ah. Then you can hug those legs in, rock yourself up, and you're gonna lie down onto your stomach next. And this is just gonna be a nice stretch for your body. So I want your forearms in front. The legs can just open up here so you're not compressing your low back too much. And just lift the chest forward and up and get that nice stretch in those abdominals. Make sure you're not cranking that neck at all and you're just hanging out right here. Let it go. See how that body feels. We've been in a lot of flexion, so now we're extending the spine. So you're gonna feel that difference right there. Breathe. Then from here, forearm plank. You're gonna keep those forearms down, make fists with those hands, or you can press the palms down, and then tuck those toes and press yourself up to a plank. Hold it right there. Now, if you're like, Jenny, you've had me doing a lot of core. You can drop the knees down and stay right here too, right? Wherever, again, you need to take it, you take it. Abs are pulling in and up, and you're just holding that forearm plank. Hold it here. There's a little tuck of your tail just so you're not dumping into your back. Abs are pulling in and up. Reach the heart forward. Hold for four. Hold for three. Hold for two. And one, come down for a second. You can take a quick little child's pose. Just let it go. That's what your planks are going to feel like. We're going to go for a little variation with it next. Now, you can always just hold your plank if that feels better, okay? From here, we come back into that plank. <sighs> hold it. You're gonna tap one knee down and then switch it. Tap and tap. So try to look past the edge of your mat. I know I do it too. I wanna look kind of at my body and see what the knees are doing. Look past it. Keep that neck nice and long that way. Four more. You go three, you go two. Last set, one and one. Hold your plank nice and strong. Hold for four, hold for three, two, and one, bring it back down, take it back for a second. We've got one more variation here. You come back into your plank. Those feet are just hip width apart and parallel. And now we go for double knee taps. So you tap both knees down, lift it up, down, up. Now again, if you're like, I just wanna hold my plank, go there. If you wanna go back to your single knee taps, you can go there too. Four more here though. Three more here. You go for two. Last one, hold that plank, you hold for four. Three, two, and one. You come all the way down, rest it down from here. Woo. Give it a little break, and then we're gonna go into your swimming. So from here, you're gonna reach the arms out in front of you. This is pretty full body, but I want you to focus on the core. So feel your abdominals trying to pull away from the mat. Abs are pulling in and up that way. And then you're gonna float everything up off of the mat, so upper body and lower body. Then reach one arm and one leg a little higher, then you switch it, then you start to swim it out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, where are those abs? Keep pulling them in, exhale. One more set right here, inhale, and exhale, and lower it down, and sit back into a child's pose. Woo, the work is done. But it's not over yet. I wanna give you some nice stretches to really open back up through that body. Stay in this child's pose and just reach through that belly, reach through that chest. One more deep breath right here.
Then go ahead and round yourself up. And you're going to take a seat facing towards me. And this is your mermaid stretch. So the knees can stay stacked, but if that's making your hip hike up a bunch, maybe you bring it down. And you're trying to think about getting both sits bones as much as you can down towards the mat. It's not going to happen, but you're thinking about that. Then outside hand's going to hold on to the outside ankle. You reach up and then we reach up and over, getting this awesome side bend stretch through that side body, even into the back a little there too. And then come all the way back up, stretch up and over to the other side, really trying to get that hip to come down as you reach out and over, drawing those shoulders down still. and then come all the way back up. Bring the legs over to the other side of your mat. Again, whatever feels best in your body with the knees, I'm cool with it. And then from there, you're trying to get those hips down. Hold on to that outside ankle, the top ankle, I should say, and then reach up and up and over. Oh. And this is my tighter side. We've all got them. <laughs> so really reach up and over. Give me as much stretch as you can through that side body. Come all the way back up, reach up and over, getting that hip to reach down even further, drawing those shoulders down. And then come all the way back up. Go ahead and just sit cross-legged for me. Roll those shoulders back, and let's take one last breath together right here. Inhale, reach those arms up, lift up tall through that spine. And exhale, circle those arms all the way around. Roll those shoulders back, and you are all done with your Pilates core workout today on your summit mat. Awesome work. I can't wait to sweat with you again soon.